Deep beneath our feet, a transformation has been taking place for millions of years. Heat and pressure transform these remains into crude oil. This oil holds the key to our modern world. It's the source of plastics building blocks, creating a wide range of plastics with unique properties. From bottles to clothes, plastic is everywhere. The transformation of oil and gas into plastic is an incredible feat of chemistry. This process, known as polymerization, is where the magic truly happens. Small molecules called monomers link together to form long chains called polymers. Two common types of plastic are polyethylene, PE, and polypropylene, PP. Polyethylene is used in plastic bags and water bottles. Polypropylene is found in food containers and car parts. Scientists can create plastics with specific characteristics by controlling the polymerization process. The journey from crude oil to plastic involves several crucial stages. The first stage, as we've seen, is extraction, where oil and gas are brought to the surface. Next comes refining, where these raw materials are separated and purified. Once these initial steps are complete, the real transformation begins. The refined oil and gas components are then subjected to a process called cracking. This involves breaking down large hydrocarbon molecules into smaller and more manageable ones. These smaller molecules are called monomers, and they are the building blocks of plastic. They are then transported to specialized facilities where the magic of polymerization takes place. Inside these facilities, monomers undergo a carefully controlled chemical reaction. This reaction links them together to form long polymer chains. The resulting material, still in a semi-liquid state, is extruded through small holes to create tiny pellets. These pellets, resembling small beads of plastic, are the standardized form in which plastic is transported and traded globally. Plastic pellets are shaping our future in ways most are not aware of. These plastic pellets, though small and unassuming, hold immense potential. They are the raw material for countless products that shape our modern world. To transform these pellets into recognizable objects, we use a variety of molding processes. Each process is tailored to create specific shapes and sizes. One of the most widely used methods is injection molding. In this process, melted plastic is injected under high pressure into a mold. The mold is then cooled, causing the plastic to solidify into the desired shape. This method is highly efficient for mass-producing identical items, such as bottle caps, toys, and electronic components. Another common method is blow molding. This technique involves inflating a molten plastic tube within a mold using compressed air. As the plastic expands, it takes the shape of the mold. This process is ideal for creating hollow objects like bottles, containers, and even kayaks. The variety of molding techniques allows us to create products ranging in size from tiny medical devices to large car parts. In our world of plastic things, from the moment we wake up to the time we go to sleep, we interact with plastic in countless ways. Its versatility, durability, and affordability have made it an indispensable material in nearly every aspect of our lives. Our homes are filled with plastic products. We find it in our appliances, furniture, electronics, and even the paint on our walls. In the realm of packaging, plastic reigns supreme. Its lightweight nature reduces transportation costs, and its ability to form a barrier against moisture and contaminants helps preserve the freshness of food and other perishable goods. Plastic bottles and containers are ubiquitous, holding everything from beverages and condiments to cleaning supplies and personal care products. The medical field relies heavily on plastic. Its sterile nature and biocompatibility make it ideal for medical devices, implants, and disposable instruments, from syringes and IV bags to prosthetic limbs and artificial organs, plastic plays a vital role in healthcare and improving the quality of life for millions. Finally, let's talk about the shadowy side of its durability. While plastic's durability is one of its greatest assets, it also presents a significant challenge. 
Unlike organic materials, plastic does not readily decompose in the environment. Instead, it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces known as microplastics, which can persist for hundreds or even thousands of years. The accumulation of plastic waste in landfills and the environment is a growing concern. Plastic debris can entangle and harm wildlife, leach harmful chemicals into the soil and water, and contribute to the spread of diseases. The improper disposal of plastic waste, particularly in developing countries with limited waste management infrastructure, exacerbates these problems. The production of plastic itself also has environmental impacts. The extraction and refining of crude oil and natural gas release greenhouse gases and in my opinion is contributing to climate change. Furthermore, the manufacturing processes involved in plastic production require significant amounts of energy and water. So, we must address these environmental challenges due to plastics invaluable importance, though it will require a multifaceted approach and global cooperation to solve the plastic problem. Thank you for watching and have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.